What's going on guys, girls? Back at you more Final Fest 10. And we're gonna be doing one of one of the more time consuming side quests today. Unfortunately. So uh, we need to we need to start catching fiends. Unfortunately. <coughs> So let's get started to Besaid Island. Um, note that you um to get Orin's Mars sigil, you have to get uh you need to catch uh one of each fiend in each. Uh, in each area, or or um, okay, you need to catch fiends to unlock ten areas or create species. Okay, and um, why don't why am I not an encounter? That'd be why. <laughs> And during this time, I use Walker in in my fights to make sure that I've done enough fights to um, get his his sigil later. Because you ha you have to make him participate in like 400 fights or something. I don't know. Out of my way. Okay, so uh, there's no point in mugging. So here there's only three enemies, so you need to catch one of each one, but uh, it'll be a lot easier and a lot faster if you uh, catch ten of eight, each fiend, because it'll save you a lot, and I mean a lot of time, because uh, you, you need to catch ten of each fiend in each area to unlock uh, Nemesis, but yeah. Alright, so I've captured one of each fiend now, but I'm going to stay in this area until I've catched at least four of the dogs. Uh, because you need to have at least, you need to catch four of each dog in each area to um, unlock its like master species. So I'll do this off screen. Alright, I've captured everything I need to in Besaid. I'm caught 10 of everything because uh, I'm recording. I'll capture 10 of each fiend off screen. Uh, and here, I'm only going to catch one of each fiend. So we're going to start off this plant. I also did my sphere grid off screen as well because I, I had a few of those. Alright, only looking for one more enemy. I forgot which one it is. Oh, it's the bee, it's the bee. It's the bee! Can I find it in this next encounter? It'll be lovely if I do. Yep! <laughs> and we got ambushed, how lovely. Just around the asshole. Woohoo! Woo Alright, we're done with Killika. Alright, back on the Meehan High Road. Uh, we have we'll have to go to the upper floor and the lower floor, this is the lower floor, the Meehan High Roads. And what I mean by the upper floor is I'm um, going to uh, where the Mushroom Rock is. Uh, you're probably going to be here for a while because uh, there's quite a few enemies here. It's over. And I'm going to be staying here until I Piece get four of, the, four of the dogs. 
and five of those horn things. I'll, I'll show you when I actually get into a counter of them. Alright, we've got a bomb here. Alright, we have one of those um, rock things. Alright, this is the horn thing I've, been, I've talked about. Um, you, I'm, I'm gonna catch five of those things. No time to waste. Okay. Let's go. And I am on the higher floors now, because I think that's all the enemies on the lower floors that we can fight. Here's another one. Uh, don't you that you can actually fight jewel horns on the mushroom rock as well? And they appear much more often there, so... Alright, I'm on the very lower floors now of the Thunder Flam. Look. Lower Falls of the Thunder Flam, what am I? No uh, lower waste. Falls of the Meat and High Rune, you capture a Thunder Flam here. And also you can catch them in Mushroom Rock, so... Yeah. Alright, uh, there's another w enemy we haven't fought yet. Alright, I'm not sure that I've captured every enemy here. Uh, but... Just in case you guys have forgotten, this is where you get the Mars Crest. And this is a Jack Sphere, but I'm going to do that later on. Because, um... Uh, I can get all of them, except from one. Which, uh, because... The one I can get is in Besaid, and in this HD version, you and the international version, of course. Uh, you can't... Uh, you have to no fight Dark Malifor. To get past him, and there's no way I can beat that guy. Well, I could always use some auto, but that's no fun at all, so. Oh, okay. This is the last enemy we need to fight here, I think. I still need to catch, uh, like, two more of those horn things. So I'm no gonna go to the Mushroom Rock Let's now, go. so I'll meet you there. It's just a walk away, so it should be fine. Alright, I decide I'm I'm gonna decide to actually go to the mushroom rock, but I'm gonna fly in there. Instead of uh, going across the path that I uh, that you're supposed to during the main game. Because you you can encounter the Magnus sisters there. It during that path, and I don't really want to do that. And note, this guy is actually kind of rare, and won't appear in the Mushroom Rock except from down here anyway. So, that's the reason I came down here. Although, I've heard that you can fight him like right at the top of the Mushroom Rock near the Command Center, but I'm not going to travel all that way just to fight just one monster. I forgot exactly how many enemies there is in the Mushroom Rock. So we're just gonna wait and find out. Alright, we got that plant thing that I hate, hate a lot. Because you can put you to sleep, but that's not a problem anymore. Ah, this imp thing. Uh, now that I think about it, I think all these enemies, except from the Garuda, which is that big flying monster, uh, can be fought in the Jose High Road. I think this. I think all these enemies are part of the Jose High Road, actually. So, I'm I'm just gonna go to the Jose High Road now. Uh, I'll meet you there. All right, back in Jose High Road. Uh, this is one of the main reasons I like to, um... Uh, 
uh, have do my side quests before going insane because the characters have fun about a lot more often. And it, it makes it a bit more enjoyable. So that's why I do it. Uh, there is a certain enemy in the Jose High Road which is very, I mean very annoying to fight. Not fight, but find. Because um it's, it's a very rare enemy and and it appears more often when you're running in like the sunlight bit, it's not in the shade. But still, it's very, very annoying. So you see this like light spot right here. Okay, it didn't come out, unfortunately. Come on. There it is. That that bird thing there, that's really annoying to find. Alright, I was about to say I've fought everything, but these these things came out of nowhere. Now I need to stay here and get four dogs, unfortunately for me. But like I said, it's it's a lot easier and a lot faster if you just uh, Uh, get 10 of each enemy so you don't have to do all this backtracking and stuff like that. Uh, I'm only just catching like one of each fiend just to like show you guys what enemies there is and then I'll just catch all like all the 10 enemies off screen. Uh, kind of like I did with the Calm Lands because Calm Lands is already completed and I've captured everything in the have the Stolen Faith and Mount Gagazet before uh, during the main story, so that's three less for me to worry about. I'm on a roll. Anyway, I'll stop talking now and, and focus on getting these last two dogs. Um, actually, uh, there is one more enemy that we can find, but you have to be in the moon flow part. Let me just uh, show you right now. Yeah, this this part is the Moonflow, but still classed as the Jersey High Road for whatever reason. I don't know. And you find I can find my dogs here as well, so that's good. And here he is, Ochu. He's very, a very no common encounter, so it won't go. take too long to get 10 of those. Alright, making a quick trip back here. I don't think I've captured 10. Like, uh... That's from Killica. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't think I've, uh, I've captured 10 uh, area, area monsters. I don't know why I skipped down per se. Got one from Mushroom Rock. He he's he's skipping per se. Why? I'm not sure why he's doing that. Um, I'm actually here just to <coughs> get some free items. There we go, per se. Like it matters, but still. Alright, going for, for Mushroom Rock in me and High Road, that's always fun. Uh, not sure about Jose. I should have everything in Jose. Yep. Petrified Grenade, nice. Uh, no. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got anything else. I've uh, done it, I created a monster. Three stars. Nice. Uh, no. No exit. I've done it. I've created a monster. Fabulous day. Can you help me celebrate? Door to tomorrow. That's what I came here for. 
Uh, I think that's when you've um, locked seven or more areas, I think. No, not now. I, I, I can't beat these enemies anyway. I've done it, I created a monster. This is fabulous day. Megalixia. I think that's uh Shimri Shimryu. There's no way I can beat this motherfucker. And I accidentally did this. <laughs> uh Fuck. <laughs> What can I steal from you anyway? Gamma the spirit knows. Eraser! On Rishi, uh, I don't want to see you die, baby. Watch that dead. Yeah, there's no way I can f beat that thing. I accidentally pressed yes. <laughs> anyway. Let me just sort out my equipment, just in case that happens, like everything's all mixed up and shit. Uh, where are you? Come on! There it is, capture! I'm putting up, I'm using 10 to auto tomorrow, spawn overdrive, convert to AP. Now, as long as that character ha is in slayer mode, it'll gain 25 25? 20% overdrive every time you kill a monster, right? The final showdown. Shut up, Sid. Anyway, our next place is, uh, Makalania. Actually, I should have went to the Thunder Plains, but well. Alright, our first area is out here. We can only catch three enemies out here, which should be useful. Because there's my dog, and I need to kill four dogs. Now, let me show you why I did the overdrive convert to AP. Uh, skip. I'll just let Rika kill everything. Alright. Now watch your experience points. 13,000. How about that? How about those apples? So now since she gained, she, she, instead of gaining like, what, 300 XP for each kill, she, she now gets like, an extra 4,000 every time she kills an enemy. Which gives me a jump start in my levels, I'm on a roll. for Riku at least. Which is good, because, um... Riku isn't leaving that spot. And... Yeah. Alright, back in the Macalonia woods now. There's, uh, this asshole. There's the bees. There's those, uh, elemental things. Die. All right, there's a lizard in one of those rock things, uh, and there's one more enemy. I think, I'm not 100 sure. I'm on a roll. And here he is. That's why I'm getting Riku a jump start on her levels because she's really under level. Well, attack wise, anyway. <coughs> 
So uh, I think that's everything in Michelania, which is good, so I'll meet you in the next area. Alright, back in the Thunder Plains, I actually ran through Makalanya Woods to get here, I didn't use a uh, save here. Here's our first victim. No time to waste, let's go! I really need to put piercing on uh, Orin's weapon there. God fucking damn it. I'm telling you right now, that, uh... That's... That thunder f thing is gonna be a real pain in the ass in, in this game, because, uh... Apparently there's a lag to it. A lag to this, instead of the no PS2 version. Let's go. But, ah, let me say it again. In the PS2 version, it's a lot easier, because in the PS3 version, there is a, a slight lag, apparently. Oh, I dodged one! Well, well done to me. Alright, got these little bastards. Very clever, nice. Yes. Mine! Ah, you go. Don't you run away, needles! Okay. Piece of cake! I really need to start selling some shit. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll do that off screen, of course. Alright, that's not everything, I don't think. I think there's still a flown eye. And maybe a couple of other things, I'm not so sure. The elements as well. Alright, I don't... I've... I think, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think I've got everything in the Thunder Plains. And I've got completed a total... And, but, and now I've completed a total of 10 areas and all races. The Mars Sigil. Alright, going from, from uh, Michelania. Uh, what about the front planes? Oh, I've, I've got the Master Flan now. The Jumbo Flan. The ultimate flan in the game. Okay. What about the front planes? Yeah, go me. Chocobo wings times 99. That's very, very, very useful. Alright. Time to get Orange Celestial Weapon. And note that we have to get the, we have to use the rusty sword. Uh, I got that back in uh, eps uh, when uh, the episode when I did the rusty sword. Okay, I got the rusty sword. You need the rusty sword. I got that back in the, final uh, the episode when I went to the cavern of stolen faith. Uh, you go, you go down, and you take a right, and there's there should be a statue with a. Rusty sword next to it, and you just take it. Yeah. Alright. We are almost done with this episode. Uh. I'll let Riku takes that take this. Bye bye. 
give her the experience oh, points. 11,000 XP, nice. What do you want, buddy? I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Why, that, why did I even talk to you? You magically run up those boxes. And let me just uh, put on your known counters, because I don't want to counter anything. Woo! Wasn't that worth it. <laughs> Alright, now it's just in here now. I use the rusty sword to place it there and magically this thing opens well appears not opens you need to open it with the celestial mirror I'll meet you back at the, uh, you know, you know the place where you upgrade the, upgrade the weapons, I mean, you there. Alright, back at Lake Makalani Woods to upgrade our weapon for Oren. Uh, this, this side quest can be... Uh, can be very annoying capturing all the enemies, but it's very worth it because you get really good items, as well as upgrading Oren's celestial weapon, which um, to me is the, probably the most useful because uh, one there's one ability that stands out more than any other ability out of all these celestial weapons combined. The weapon attains its maximum power. And let me just show you what I'm talking about. No, that's not it. First strike and counter attack. No, let me tell you right now. Do not even think about going to the Omega Ruins without this weapon. But... Now I'm probably gonna go back over the areas off screen and capture 10 of each enemy. Alright. But um, in the next one guys we're gonna be obtaining Lulu's Celestial Weapon and it might be aggravating because of you have to dodge 200 lightning bolts in a row without failing. All right, I'm so looking forward to that. So yeah, uh, and by the way, if you haven't noticed already, you get a that there there'll be a note saying um, you've captured. The, the maximum the maximum amount of enemies so if you're not even if you're not if you're not keeping count then uh the final showdown yeah yeah if, if you're not keeping count then just uh, wait for that notification to pop up every time you kill that enemy so 
And I'm just I'm just gonna check something real fast uh, before we end this. Let me ride one. It's, uh, how are we today? Okay, so I've only unlocked the Jumbo Flan. And let me tell you now, he's pretty hard. So, uh... Macalonia, five wolves. Uh... I can't remember if it's four or five from Mental Health. I'm pretty sure it's four. Uh, me and Hyrule are six there. Jose, four. Uh, Beacon yeah, I haven't been to Beacon yet. That, that's what it is, that's what it is. There's, there's sand wolves there. Uh, Mount Gagazet. Which one's the... I don't know what the horn thing's called. In, in Mogegza. Oh well, I'm, I'm gonna go off screen anyway and... Um, yeah, catch ten of each enemy, including the Beaconel Island, which I haven't done yet. Actually, I, I might have... Uh, do I need to record that? Nah, I don't think so. I'll, I'll probably just show you guys the reward that you get, but that's about it. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one where we're going to get Lulu's.